And the FBI and Department of Homeland Security are issuing a warning about large Fourth of July celebrations. According to intelligence bulletins obtained by ABC News, the federal agencies say the biggest threats come from both lone offenders and small groups. Senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky joins me now for more on this. Uh, so, uh, Aaron, what exactly do these bulletins say and how are officials preparing? Well, they do say that lone offenders and, and these individual groups that are wanting to make a point pose the biggest threat to large-scale fireworks celebrations in places like New York and San Francisco and Las Vegas. And, and, and there has been a heightened threat environment in the country ever since October 7th and the attack in, in uh, Israel. And that's continued to, to fuel people with an agenda. Uh, and, and it's not the only thing that's fueling people with an agenda. There are other agendas. The political environment of the country certainly doesn't help. So uh, police are being told by the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security to be on watch for these types of things, which are notoriously difficult to guard against. And they say these big celebrations are, in their words, attractive targets. What exactly did that mean? And they're still pointing out some differences, though, b between them. Tell me more it, about it, that. It means different things. In some cases, like in San Francisco, where, where petty crime has been quite a problem, you put 250,000 people on the wharf, and, and you know there are targets of opportunity there for, for, for thieves, uh, and also for something involving mass casualty. But the, that, that's one specific difference. Uh, and in New York, uh, another difference is it's got a spy problem. It's the home of the United Nations. It's a global capital. Uh, and so uh, police in New York say this is an opportunity for foreign governments to get a look at how police guard big events, and, and that itself may pose some kind of a threat. So there are a lot of different things that, that police are being told they need to watch for. So if you are planning to go to one of these celebrations, what can you expect to see, and how do people ensure that they're doing what they can to be safe? Look, the, the, the message from the police departments is always go about your business, but, you know, keep your head on a swivel a little bit, and, and if you see something untoward, mention it. There will be plenty of police officers in all of these locations. Uh, especially uh, along the water in New York City to watch the fireworks go off. Police will have boats in the water where the barges are launching these fireworks. They'll be monitoring the crowd using uh, drones and helicopters. And, and it's just a lot of manpower that goes into keeping these crowds safe. All right. Our senior investigative correspondent, Aaron Katursky. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Diane.